Hey everyone, I'm Terry Mora, and welcome back to another episode for my Let's Play series for Earthbound. Um, ah! In the last episode, we went ahead and crossed over, um, with the help of Tessie. I was about to say Nessie, because that's kind of where my brain wants to go, but obviously it's, it's Tessie. So now we need to head to where Ness and Paula are and save them, and I don't want to fight this thing, but we have to. Gruff goat. I don't know. Okay, okay. I thought it was gonna hit harder than it is, but that's not too bad. So we just shoot him up. Please don't kill me. Thank you, Bubble Monkey. I, that didn't really do that much. Ah! Uh, <laughs> please die. Oh my God! Please die. Please die. Okay, there we go. That's too much health that they took away. <laughs> but that's good experience, and Jeff leveled up, so we can't complain too much. Do I have- I do have a lot of cookies, so I guess I'm gonna eat one right now. I mean, that's not a lot of health, but... It's something. Maybe one more for good measure. Let's see how much... 32. Yeah, one more should do it. If I have one more, I do. Alright, awesome! So we obviously can't go down there, so we must go through Brick Road. Which, I kind of have it memorized, but I almost want to try to get all the goodies. I mean, it's just gonna be useful, so... Might as well, whatever, you stupid mouse. Yeah, 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 just die. Where's your red nose? He has a red nose uh, in the overworld, but I guess not in battle. Yes, experience is always good. We want to kind of get Jeff a decent amount before we find. Oh, red roll. Before we find us in Paula, it'd be kind of good if he was higher level. He might actually end up being higher than Paula, for all we know. <laughs> I was tricked! You worthless protoplasm. I'm not really insulting it, that's its name. Oh my goodness, just die. Come on! I mean, how much health can this little weird squishy thing have? There we go, okay. Alright, so that was a trick. Are you a trick? Please, don't be a trick. Don't trick me. Okay, so that obviously is good for Jeff. We can worry about that later, though. Those ducks look so stupid. Oh, I would have to go the other way. Ah, I need to, though. We're just gonna go ahead and check all the items. It, I don't think it's gonna hurt, um... At all. We just have to fight the duck. Come on, bro! Let's fight! Mad duck, why are you so mad? Uh, I think I should heal. Let's eat something. Let's eat the bread roll. Okay, good. Now we're maxed out. The duck is very bad at what he does. He didn't even hit me! Haha! <laughs> Stupid duck. Awesome! I'm so glad that I, he's gaining levels pretty fast. That's very useful. What's in here? Insecticide spray! We can always use that for bug type creatures. Oh man, what a maze. Anything down here? Nope. Let's go ahead and read this wonderful sign up here. Don't even bother with me, duck. Watch for falling materials! Brick Road. Oh, goodness. Again, I was like, is my controller stuck? What's happening? Ugh. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I just say so, blah, 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 blah. He says the same thing every time. I'm not gonna always read it. Well, what are we photograph? Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, guy. Bye. Maybe that's Jeff's real dad. Maybe his last name isn't Andonuts. Andonuts. 
His last name is actual... Actually, Pickles, probably. Who knows? Jeff Pickles. That sounds better. Come on. I got places to be, Duck! My friends are stuck in a zombie refrigerator! Or cupboard, because I don't know if it's cold down there. I mean, it could be. Who knows? I'm not a zombie. Okay, I think that one's actually a trick. Ah, no! <laughs> Dang it, there was no escaping that. Why are you in a present box? No one would want you as a present. You are literally just like jelly on the floor. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to eat something else because... Uh, ah, yay! More levels! Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's see. What do we have to eat? An egg and another bread roll. Let's go ahead and eat the bread roll. And, okay, so this is an actual thing. Please be food. A croissant inside. Croissant. Maybe we can make a, an egg sandwich with that. Probably not. Okay, I am probably gonna need you. Yeah, 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 you stupid mouse. Let's just fight. Ooh! <gasps> Why did that sound so scary? I guess it's just because it was really hard for the mouse to hit that hard. It never does, because it's worthless. Alright. What's in here? Stun gun! Yes! Okay, so that's kind of why I knew there was like some sort of important weapon in here. Oh, I have to- duh. Um, yeah, I, I knew that there was like a weapon in here somewhere. I just don't remember which one. Obviously it would be the last one though, right? I mean, that makes sense. Okay, we have the stun gun equipped. I believe we are at the end of this quote-unquote maze. Way to go! Please come back again. I don't want to. Maybe it was too easy? My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andonet's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. <laughs> Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Yes, I would. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. I don't want to give any spoilers in case uh, any of you watching have not played or watched this game before. But later on, when we reach a certain point, I will explain how I played this game twice and I did not realize something about Brick Road. That I'm now kind of thinking, how in the hell did I not know that? I will explain it later. I did not want to engage the Rowdy Mouse, but I guess I have to. Please, Mr. Mouse, I don't want to fight. Okay, let's just get out of this spooky cave. Ah. Oh well, I, gotta, I have to keep in mind this is experience. I need this. Once I get back with Ness and Paula, I'm gonna grind a little bit. That way, um, it's not so difficult as it was uh, before. So that will definitely happen before... Oh my god, I don't want to fight both of you. Since when do you s Wow, that slug grew really big. I like slugs. I don't like attack slugs, though. I really don't like attack slugs. Or Rowdy Mouse. Good. Stop it, you slug. You have better things to do than mess with a boy who's just randomly in a cave with a monkey. More levels, awesome. Can't complain there. Great, a lot more little... Ugh. It's okay. Ooh, ooh, we somehow got the back of them, so that means we'll attack first. Get a little head start. Yes, awesome. And Bubble Monkey is awesome. I wish we could keep Bubble Monkey forever and ever. 
I just want to know. What's in it? Hamburger. No, we we could really use the hamburger. Let's see, what can we drop? Not a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and just kind of see. How much does this heal? 40 HP. 60 HP. Ooh. Actually, when I think about it, I don't. I think a hamburger might be less than those, so let's just not worry about that for now. Ah. I thought I could escape. We'll just shoot him up a little bit. He's getting uh, a lot of levels, so these enemies really will soon just be one hit. Another level, please? Nope. Okay, that's okay. More of this spooky cave and you things. Uh. After a while, they just. Ugh. After a while, these things just become nuisances. It's like, you're not really that difficult, and it's not fun fighting you. It's just more like, hey, let me just kill you really quick so I can continue with my life. You stupid slugs. That's good, though. I mean, experience, obviously. <laughs> Alright, we should probably eat something. And I kind of want to go back and get that burger, but honestly, I just... no. Or you know what? I think we're okay. I don't think we're in immediate danger. Oh, that was stuck. Hello? It's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No! Ah, and this would be... Oh, so this is a Ness. Oh well, it's okay. Anyway, don't strain yourself on your journey. Good luck, uh, whoever you are. Click beep. Yeah, you're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, uh, where do I go? Okay, obviously not that way. Wait. Hehe, <laughs> I should have known there's something this way. Bottle rocket! Okay, well, I think we're okay without that. I, uh, pretty sure I actually have a bottle rocket already on me. I don't want to fight these! I'm in a rush! I want to get out of here. My friends, they need me and you mushrooms and you mice. You just want to bother me. I don't think there's any way around it. Unless I... Ah! Oh no! Dang it! I shouldn't have turned. I, I... That was bad. That was my bad. I don't care, you stupid mushrooms. Oh no! Wow! <laughs> okay. I need to care. Oh god, please! Oh! Oh my god! He ate it before they attacked! I didn't think that was gonna happen. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, I... I don't want to run away, but I don't know if I can take these on! Hopefully they don't hit for too hard. I gotta shoot one. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out! Yes, okay, good, 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 good. We're okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat that boiled egg. Okay, good, we're still alive. Come on, let's kill it, let's kill it, stupid mushroom! You're ruining my day! Okay. What did it leave? Oh, a cookie. So helpful. There's nothing but a present up there. I really don't think it's worth fighting those mushrooms over it, so let's just, um... Figure out... Oh, duh! Let me see if I could just... Okay. Where are you? There we go. How could I have forgotten? Ooh, I can actually go get that present now. I can open that. I probably should go get that gift that's up there with the mushrooms, but honestly, we're a little too close to dying. Don't really have a lot of stuff to heal. So I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. Actually, I don't even know if I ever come back here. But we will leave it uh, there for now. Oh my god, okay. 44 health. I I mean, the cookie will be worth eating. Okay. Let's just bring the big guns into this fight. Ah, they came around. Okay. Let's use just a smaller one on you. 
Man, that was overkill, but it, you know, kind of still, like... Ooh, thank you, monkey. It's just helping me, like, my uh, peace of mind knowing that I won't die. All right. Yay, I got another cookie. And we leveled. That's excellent. Okay, so everything went pretty well there. I thought that might have might end up going bad. Please be the exit. It is. <gasps> Ooh. Cute Uki Kukuki. Now she's my type. Ki Kukyo Uki. I think I'll ask her for a date. But Bubble Monkey, we're supposed to be best friends forever. Oh, I just want you to be happy. And there he goes. My best friend and my hero, Bubble Monkey. To go be with his- Oh god! No, no! You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. You're a douche guy. Alrighty, so we have made it to... Well, let's talk to him. Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker referred you, right? And not only that... What? Who? My son? Oh, I, I can't... I can't believe it! You're Jeff, my son! It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you! I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Sure. Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? No. Well, at least I asked. Mmm. Mm hmm Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you know. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is a Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in! Let's get together again in 10 years or so. Okay, Jeff's gotta be like 11, 13, around that age. I think they're all pretty young. Did he just like... He was like, here you go, boarding school. This is a baby. I don't really want it. I mean, it seems like it. Let's go ahead and use this. Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. Just like a good night's sleep. Alright, well obviously we have no more business here. We need to hurry and save our friends. So let's get in the Skyrunner. Goodbye, father, that I didn't really know because you... Eh, and you didn't give me a donut. Yay! Where are we going? I really wish I could speed this up or skip. <laughs> this, this isn't needed. I don't need this. And we're going over a city. For those of you who are familiar, I'm sure you know where this is. But just for the sake of no spoilers, I'm not saying where it is. work how how would this fly there's no propellers or anything another area that I will not describe or say the name of for the sake of not spoiling it we will be there soon though and well soonish Here we are, in hovering above three. Ooh, that, that beep scared me a little bit. <laughs> beep beep! Yay, 
You know, sometimes these old games are really good at testing people's patience with these cutscenes. <laughs> it's like, I get it. Oh, the beeps mean he's close. Okay, like, how can. Come on, just kind of, like, go already, please. I. Uh, no need to circle around the area. Just go! Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner? I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. <laughs> you don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kinda shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. That's just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Yes, we do. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. Yay! Now we have Jeff! We are almost complete. We still need to get out. So, I'm going to end the episode here. And the next episode, we will get out of here. How? You'll have to watch to find out. But it's very possible. Just kind of think back to some things that we have experienced in our game so far. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed any of this, please remember to like, subscribe, or comment. I'm Taramora. See you in the next episode when we get out of the zombie. What? Refrigerator? Pantry? I don't know. I don't know if it's cold down there, but we'll see. Bye! Arxalit opened his eyes to a barren wasteland devoid of life. So this is the hole I came through? There's no turning back now. What a desolate world. Barren land, stale air, no life.